Okay, remember I was going to do this number four right here. But I think this is part of a homework set, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a rock, paper, scissors um, program with all the for loop stuff. So, um, okay, so we'll do file, new. Uh, project and say next main rock paper scissors right, delete that and we'll use the all right so again you know I like to do these do while um, loops when I'm playing a game so while um, I'm gonna say play again is equal to yes Okay, and we'll do a um, we'll do a um, string play again equals yes for the first time through. Actually, let's say it's no. That's fine. And then in here we'll just say play, all right? So we'll have a uh, void play, all right. So rock paper scissors, um, right here we'll do our, you know, um, see out. Would you like to play again? Yes or no? <coughs> and then we'll have a CN uh, play again. And then, you know, to make sure that they enter uppercase Y-E-S or, you know, we'll say while not play again, again, equal to yes or play again equals no <laughs> excuse me um see out enter yes as yes or no as no And these are the kind of the little things that, you know, like if you're entering in phone numbers and somebody enters in like an A instead of a number or whatever, like they enter a letter A, B, C, D, whatever. This is the kind of stuff that you build in all the different fields to make sure that, uh, you know, the user's entering in the proper information or whatever. So it just does a while loop that goes through and makes them enter their proper information. Okay. And then also what we're going to do is we're going to create some statistics here on how many times you win and how many times you lose. So we're going to do Oh! <laughs> 
Excuse me. Excuse me again, sorry. So there's going to be a computer answer and whatever I enter in as an answer. But the computer answer is going to be a number. And then we'll have wins, ties, and losses. And then there's going to be a string for my answers because I'm going to say, um, you know, enter rock, paper, scissors for the user. Computer doesn't understand rock, paper, scissors, so we can just leave it as a number. It doesn't matter. I'll show you why in a minute. So, let's define this up here. Okay, so here we'll say um, once we get into play, we're going to ask them, you know, the user, uh, enter rock, paper, or scissors. We'll do this while, same kind of thing to make sure they enter the right stuff, the right info. While my answer is equal to, while it's not equal to rock, or my answer So we're going to have a computer, the computer answer is going to be equal to the random number modulus 3 plus 1. So that will be 1 through 3 and 1 will equal rock, 2 will equal uh, paper. Three will equal scissors. So if my answer is equal to rock and computer answer is equal to three for scissors or My answer is equal to 
paper and computer answer is equal to rock or my answer is equal to scissors Paper. What's wrong with this? Alright. So I like lining things up. I just saw where that so that made that line better. Alright, so if I pick rock and the computer picks scissors. I win. If I pick paper and the computer picks rock, I win. If I pick scissors and the computer picks paper, I win. All right. So this is going to see out. You win. And then wins is going to be equal to wins plus one. Else if now this is going to be tie, all right. So I'm actually going to copy and paste this. So again, I like lining all this stuff up. So I pick rock, and the computer picks rock. If I pick paper, computer picks paper. If I pick scissors, computer picks scissors. You know, see out. It's a tie. So then, um, then what? Then uh, ties. I think I said ties up here. Yep, ties is equal to ties plus one. Else. You lose. <clears throat> and then our losses equals losses plus one. I think that's it, all right? Because you, all you do, ask for rock, paper, scissors, make sure they enter it. The computer puts an answer in. You check to see if you win, tie, or lose. And then you come back up here after play is done and ask if you want to play again. Let's run it. Rock. You win. Yes. Paper, you lose. Yes, scissors. Make sure you enter rock, paper, or scissor. You lose. So I've got win, win, lose, lose. Yes. I'm just going to keep picking rock until I tie. All right, it's a tie. No. So let's see how many times I played this and make sure my math comes up. My math was good. All right, so one, two, two wins. One tie, 
And then one, two, three. Let me see here. One, two, three, four losses. All right, yeah, looks good. Um, the only thing I'd fix here, uh, let's call it scissors. Okay, and, and there's one other thing. I want to test this while loop to make sure it's yes or no. <coughs> So, the rock, you win, blah, enter yes or no is blah, 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 all right, yes, yes, lowercase, uppercase, yes, paper, you lose, no, one win, one tie, or one loss, all right, anyway, um, that's rock, paper, scissors, or at least the version I came up with. Um, but this is good. It goes through a bunch of different while loops, if else statements, different sequence structures, functions. So, uh, lots of good things to learn from this program.